2021 has been a year of a lot of different tech that I really enjoyed. Yeah, there's a lot of tech that I really appreciated. So, today's video is basically about my favorite tech. It's not technically 2021 or 2022 because there's a lot of stuff to come still, but just my favorite tech overall. So, let's start with the biggest thing that I really enjoyed. My, my TV, of course. Now, all one of these things shouldn't come as a surprise. I did a review of this, and honestly, this is definitely one of my favorite texts that I've used till this day. This is of course my LG QNET Mini LED. Great, great television. Combined with of course the LG C148. Both of these are great televisions to have. They support 4K and have of course HDMI 2.1. So if you have your PlayStation 5 or of course your new Xbox, honestly this television wants them really well together with of course the LG 48C1. Now of course, granted, I, I don't have that you know the playstation 5 or the new xbox because scalpers and it's impossible to get but if you have them they are really good to use on this television because of that support because it supports 4k up to 120 hertz as well in terms of display as well so honestly this is a great television together with the lg 48 c1 so let's jump to the next one shall we so my favorite tech is of course a lot related to what I use from day to day base and one of the things without a doubt that I use from day to day is a phone. Phones basically do everything and for me what is really important is of course camera, screen, audio performance sadly not audio performance with a headphone jack but audio performance and with that often also for instance games and that brings us today to today's sponsor. Which is Wraith Shadow Legends. Was that a smooth one? Yes? Yeah? Is that acceptable in terms of how I the way that to the Yeah? Thank you. If if you said yes, if you said no then I'm sorry. I tried, I really tried. So this video is sponsored once again by Wraith Shadow Legends, a game I've been playing around with for a while now. Wraith Shadow Legends keeps working on creating new content for the game itself. Like for instance Hydra. The beast with six different heads, including the head of Blight, which is all about poison. The head of Mischief, it targets the champion with most buffs, then steals them and spreads those stolen buffs all over the heads. The head of Wrath, the head of DK, and finally the head of Sovereign. It brings a horrible new debuff called Pain Link, which causes your champion to take some damage whenever you attack the head of Sovereign, and it shares that Sovereign. Though granted, with me being at level 32, I cannot fight it yet, but with my strength increasing soon, I will be able to do so. And if there is some space in my clan, you can join next to me and fight the beast. And there is no better time to start now, because when you hit the link in the description or the QR code, you will get an epic champion called Ayana, 200k silver, 1 energy refill and 1 xp boost and 1 ancient shard you can use to summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. These rewards will only be available for the next 30 days and only for new players. So be sure to check the link in the description or the QR code placed in the video. Doing so of course does help out my channel as well even though it's not an affiliate. Either way, favorite tech, definitely one of them is the phone. The phone is for me is really important and I love photography. Now of course, that camera that I'm using right now would take far better pictures than any phone out there. Because simply put, it has a better sensor, but also it really captures nature more in a natural lighting. And for a phone, there's a lot of algorithms that then create an image. Computational photography. So of course, with that, you're gonna get far better result. But the best camera it's the camera that you have with you and that's the phone for most people and for me definitely the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra and the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II are my favorite when it comes to that 
Those are amazing phones for photography for a phone itself. The Sony has more character to it, but I will have to give it to the Xiaomi for more true to life. And this allows me, if I do want to edit a shot, to do so, because I simply have a lot of detail to work with. It's not the best in low light, and of course I do want that update that allows better low light shots, but overall when it comes to day to day shots, definitely the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is a really, really good phone, especially when it comes to the camera. Again, I keep saying it, it's a great phone. There are some downsides as I always say, because every single phone has them. For this one, mainly software and software updates. <sighs> now this one, th this one shouldn't come to a surprise of anyone. One of my favorite techs is definitely my PC. This one matters a lot to me because this is where I create everything. Where I create my 3D animation, where I edit of course my videos, unless I hire a life of tech to edit it. Hi Roger. <laughs> anyway, this is basically the main thing that I keep using a lot. My PC is really important for the work that I do. So I have two PCs. One is basically purely a render PC, and even that one is kind of dated, but still. My main one is the 2700X. It's actually the slower one, but it makes sense. Bear with me. It has about 20 terabyte of memory to maybe 25. Don't know out of mad. Somewhere around that. And then of course we have a 2070 Super in terms of video card. And then in terms of RAM, it's 64 gigabytes of RAM. So this is a fine PC and it works well for me to create the scenes that I need, to create the 3D models that I need and so on. It is fast enough to do what I need to do in basis to then render it on my faster PC while I continue on a slower PC to create the things that I need to create. This is basically efficiency for me. I need to keep swapping between the two PCs, so really easy. Then my second PC is the 3900X. It has, I think, 48 gigabytes of RAM and not too much in terms of storage. And a very, very simple GPU inside because basically I just need the screen to display what I need to see. So. That's it, it's very simple, it doesn't need much, it doesn't even need its own power source. That's how simple that one is. It just has an HDMI port, well, yeah, an HDMI port and a VGA port, that's it. Very simple, as stated. But it is the render PC, it's faster, without a doubt, than my current PC that I'm using for the main setup. The 2700X, it's basically quite a bit faster, but still, in terms of what I need, this works fine for me. Yes, would I like more power? Without a doubt, AMD. You 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 could you could could hook me up. Is that how people do it? I don't know, man. Don't know. Either way, that's my PC setup, and that's one of my favorite techs that I keep using every single day. So um, let's go to the last one and end this video as well. Either way, hope you enjoyed this video about my favorite tech and what I enjoy using most of the time. Not when a PC is crashing, that I don't enjoy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to, of course, subscribe, hit a like, of course, because that truly helps out the video, leave a comment below, and, of course, don't forget to check out Life of Tech. I have this one and only merch, this one is not for sale. I am going to make merch, by the way. Just have to think about how I want to approach it. Because there is, of course, in the tech gang that I, uh, that I have, like the people that I follow and talk with, we do have um, something like hashtag get your main fish and chips. And I'm thinking about making merch for that one. And of course, just some merch next to it. But I have to think about it. I really want, if I do create merch, I want it to be either fun or just something that looks really good. Either way, I'm rambling. So we're just going to stop this video right here. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, talk to you guys in the next.